What it is guys, your boy King Mike D Games here. I'm back. Um, I promised I said I was gonna come back with a video for um, either my Call of Duty collection or I was going to do the my zombie collection. And like I said, I think it's fitting for me to do the Call of Duty because they just announced the Call of Duty World War II um, new video game that's gonna be coming out in November, which also interesting interestingly it's going to come out with the um around the same time as the scorpio you know project scorpio is to be released in november as well so i'm really excited for that looking forward to it and um so yeah without further ado you guys already seen my um call of duty ghost uh special edition the uh, prestige edition uh, i showed it in my other video uh where i'm talking about all of my special edition like games and stuff like that so if you haven't seen it check it out so there's that one of course and then uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna talk about the game trailer while i show off my uh call of duty collection right here and as you guys can first thing you probably can tell is i don't have the original ps2 like call of duty call of duty 2 and whatnot and i'm gonna get at those like maybe like possibly this week and um yeah guys let me get into it so i seen the trailer today it looks amazing it looks awesome and i also went down and read you know of course the comment section and what other people thought and I've seen a lot of complaining, a lot of groaning about, oh, um, you know, Battlefield, it's a copy of Battlefield, and, you know, it's this, it's that. I'm just like, people fail to realize Call of Duty um, has been out a long time. I'm not sure what was out first. Was it Call of Duty or the original Battlefield? But I'm just like, people are always going to complain about something. It's always something somebody's going to complain about or don't like. You know, at first it was like, we want the old Call of Duty back. We don't want the jumping around, futuristic type games. And then, you know, when they make the adjustment, people, of course, still find ways to, um, you know, complain and just groan about it. So I'm just like, I like the way it looks. I think it looks great. And this one is focusing on World War II, whereas uh, Battlefield is focusing on World War One. So it should be very interesting to see how they flip it. And you know, honestly, what kind of reminds me of Call of Duty 3. Me just seeing the trailer and everything, it looked very similar to it. Um, of course, just with updated graphics. And of course, the storyline should be different. But I think it's great. Um, I missed the boots to ground. I, I believe Call of Duty got out of hand with Call of Duty 3, which I actually loved Call of Duty 3. I loved it a lot. Um, so, but I think it got a bit out of a hand and less competitive because when you can jump around the map like that it's it's just it makes it less competitive it just makes it really irritating and annoying sometimes you see some people jump in the air and they flip around like three or four times and they're shooting it just gets very annoying and very irritating it could be so um i like the trailer i'm excited for it of course i want to get it for the scorpio well i, I keep saying scorpio but i want to get it for xbox um because you guys know the Xbox Scorpio, they announced it's going to be complete backwards compatibility with the Xbox 360, which is awesome. It's going to completely emulate the Xbox 360. So if you have a 360 game, you can put it in and it will work. I'm excited about that. And you guys know I like whenever I can hook up less things to my TV, it's a plus. So I can just hook up the Project Scorpio or the Scorpio and they'll play, of course, Xbox One and all my 360 games. It would have been nice for it to be able to play the original Xbox games. I'm not going to lie. I would have been even more better. But, you know, I don't think they're going to go back that far back. And as you guys can see, I am reporting. If you see my other video, I'm, uh, these games are on my broken shelf. It's still up. Like I said, it didn't completely break. And I'm happy for that because I didn't feel like replacing another shelf today. So that's cool. But um, my favorite Call of Duty game, I would have to say, is 2. And I like playing Call of Duty 2 because, like I said, for that time, and still today, it still holds up as far as graphic-wise. And I, believe it or not, a lot of people don't know, of course, they made it for the Wii. And I really enjoy playing it for the Nintendo Wii. Um, of course, it's still free to play online with Nintendo Wii, as well as PS3. I believe they still have their servers up. And it's just fun overall playing on the gamepad. Like, I can be in my bed just chilling, playing Call of Duty uh, 2 on my gamepad. And that's I like that a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's basically a portable console. Just like kind of like the, um, the PS Vita, but the Vita, it, it, it has a lot of kinks to work out. I mean, because it, it doesn't have enough buttons. So, you know, it, it's a little bit harder to play. But yeah, guys, Call of Duty 2, I'd say 3. Infinite Warfare is, is okay. It just got a little bit, 
it's too many people who are just jumping around doing weird stuff. So, uh, guys, let me know what you think. What's your favorite uh, Call of Duty game? Are you excited about the new game? What console are you going to get it for? Um, do you think it's a complete ripoff of Battlefield? Which, like I said, I don't think so because Battlefield is World War One. This is going to be World War Two. So, let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, I will be working on my zombie video. Uh, maybe tomorrow I'll do it. I'll have that. Like I said, I just want to show, you know, the Call of Duty games that I got. And uh, hopefully this week I can pick up the, the ones for PS2. Because I have a weird feeling that those original Call of Duty games are about to spike. I don't know why. I just have a feeling that they're going to. So next time, guys, I'll see you. Peace out. Have a great day.